Planned Parenthood has sent $32 plus million in grants overseas. Does any of these uh, funds go to the Democratic Republic of the Congo? Congressman, uh, let me tell no, no, you. No, no, no. We don't have time for a big narrative. I just I'm not going to give you a, you asked yes me or a, no? You asked me a question. The, any of the money that is Planned Parenthood raises and is given by foundations and individuals to support family planning services around the country is in Africa and in Latin America, and they go to individual organizations. I am happy to provide you a list of those organizations, but I did not bring them you with me You could give us today. a list of those organizations. Does, does Planned Parenthood have any ownership in foreign, foreign companies? I don't believe so. I don't know what you mean by ownership. Well, in your 2013 have, tax return, it lists $3.3 million marked as, quote, investment, end quote, in Central America and the Caribbean. I am just asking if that investment was an actual investment. We don't own anything in those countries. What are, okay. Are let, me, global, let me keep going. Well, I have to keep going. I need to get a, I would appreciate a list. And you have been very cooperative so far. We have give been us a extremely list. cooperative. Yeah, and I just cited that. If you can give us a listing, as you said you would, of where those dollars go overseas, we would very much appreciate it. Your, your compensation in 2009 was $353,000. Is that correct? I don't have the figures with me, but I'm, I don't was. want to Congratulations. Um, in 2013, your compensation went up some $240,000. Your compensation we are showing in baseline tax returns is $590,000, correct? That is not my annual compensation. I Actually, my annual compensation is $520,000 a year. I believe there was a retirement, there was a program that the board um, a, a, a sort of put together okay. for a three-year. I am happy, again, I think we have been extremely forthcoming with all of our documents. Let me go to so, the next one. Will Planned the gentleman yield? No, I won't. It, it, the Planned Parenthood and its lobbying arm, Planned Parenthood Action Fund, uh, it controls two 527 organizations that have their own political activities, Planned Parenthood Votes and Planned Parenthood Action Fund PAC. Do they receive money from Planned Parenthood to conduct these activities? The Planned Parenthood Action Fund is a totally separate corporation, receives no Federal dollars whatsoever. What about the management? Who manages it? Do you manage it? It is it's managed by a team of people who are employed by the Planned Parenthood Action Fund. Are you one of those that helps manage fund. it? I, I don't directly manage it, no, sir. Do you help manage it? Some of my time is allocated to it, but I do not oversee that. I oversee. In, in 2013, you were, you were listed as a shared employee. In fact, you were compensated with $31,000 to help as, run that organization, correct? You asked me, if, excuse me, sir, but you asked me if I ran the organization. Some or of do my you help run it? Some of my time is allocated to the Planned Parenthood Action Fund, which is required by law, and we meet all of the legal requirements. And so you are also involved in the Planned Parenthood Action Fund. Um, what do, if you could help us understand what the duties are for your $31,000 of contribution, my guess is, is you running the, the mothership here when you show up and, and want to have something done, it is probably done. Um, do, does Planned Parenthood control any organizations that lobby? The Planned Parenthood Action Fund is a separate organization that has its own board and its own fundraising employees, and no Federal shared employees. Assets, shared, yeah. shared list, shared emails, shared assets. This is the concern. Um, tell me about this. I just, I, I just want to make sure you understood my statement, since I know that we are talking about Federal funds. Zero Federal funds are related it's to the, the Planned Parenthood Action Fund. It is the commingling that bothers us. Every dollar that we you are, give, every, no, hold on. Every dollar that you get in a Federal from Federal dollars means you don't necessarily have to allocate it for these particular assets. So that is what we are concerned about. Um, tell me about the $200,000 you gave to the Ballot Initiative Strategy Center. What was that for? That was in 2013 as well. So. I am not familiar with that exact payment, but I am well, happy to give Well, you gave them $200,000. If you don't know, you are running sir, this organization. I, sir, let me, I, let me, no, hold on. Me, no, no, hold on. Let me list out what their goal is. Their mantra is, quote, envisioning a future where progressives change the game and use ballot measures as a political and civic engagement tool for victory. And you gave them $200,000. Sir, I run an organization that has a budget of roughly $200 million. And so when you pull out one figure out of the last five years. I am trying to be responsive. It is important to, and perhaps you are not aware that there have been many efforts 
in states over the last several years to pass ballot initiatives that restrict women's access to birth control and reproductive health care. But you also have absolutely been involved in ballot initiative measures that have been introduced by people this who want to restrict I don't think women's need, health care. If you want to be a private entity, be a private entity. But you don't need Federal dollars in order to do this. I don't use it, Federal it, dollars to do that, sir. You do to run the organization. Planned, Parenthood, Planned Parenthood has given Planned Parenthood Action Fund more than $22 million to exercise what to involve in their lobbying expenditures and their advocacy efforts. None of these none of the dollars that you are discussing are Federal dollars. And the Planned Parenthood Federation of America receives almost no Federal dollars. I think at this point only $21,000 so for a clinical to, trial it network It goes to the same organization control. and you just separate all that out. Let, let we are last highly slide. accountable. Excuse my time, I have gone over time. I need to show this last slide. This one I don't understand. And in the case of Dana, did she, when she came to Planned Parenthood, did she get a mammogram? No, she was referred for a mammogram. Absolutely. And that is part of the challenge, is that you don't do mammograms. So if you we well, go ahead. I am sorry. I don't never, do mammograms, I've, correct? There is like one or two places that doesn't, but you don't do mammograms. If you would give me one moment to sure. explain, Planned Parenthood is a women's health center just like every, where I go for my breast exams every year. If you need a mammogram, you are referred to a radiological center, and that is how women actually receive their care. And we, we provide breast exams to, I can get you the numbers of how many hundreds of thousands of women received breast exams at Planned Parenthood last year, has nothing to do with, I, I don't, again, Here, here's you the created problem. this slide, Last I have I'm no idea what it, it is. Well, it is the reduction over the course of years in pink. That is the reduction in the breast exams, and the red is the increase in the abortions. That is what is going on this, in your organization. This, this, is a, this is a slide that has never been shown to me before. I am happy to look at it, and uh, but number, it absolutely does not reflect what is happening at Planned Parenthood. You are going to deny that if we take those numbers out of your report? I am going to deny the slide that you have just shown me that you, no one has ever provided us before. We have provided you all the information about everything, all the services that Planned Parenthood provides. And it does not feel like we are trying to get to the truth here. You just showed me this. I am happy to look at it. I pulled those numbers directly out of your corporate reports. Oh, my excuse time me. My expired. loggers are informing me that the source of this is actually Americans United for Life, which is an anti-abortion group. So I would check your source. Then we will get to the, to the bottom of the truth of that. Mm -hmm.